What's going on, everybody? Com C for the month of March. It was definitely one of my bigger months. And we'll shall go into it and break it down here. And I'm going to try to keep this video relatively short. So, right now, inventory for sale, 1,630 cards. There's one card I'm waiting for them to fix, and then it can get posted out there. Um, since we started end of November, uh, you guys know, ended pretty much December, they started posting my stuff. 648 cards have sold. And you guys can see a little over 16 and a half uh, for being total in sales. We'll hit those there. You guys can see this is all stuff I already selling this month. Some of the stuff as you can see lost. This waddle, big loss. You know, it's like 31 cent plus loss on it. I think this was out of a box um, for my earlier stuff. Some of the other stuff, a little bit of profit onto this stuff here. I know that's profit. That's like maybe, you know, 60, 70 cents profit, stuff like that. But so I did buy some stuff. I'll share that with you guys. Hopefully this pulls up. There we go. This is one card I picked up. I know there's a low sale, but the card, this little mini card was like diagonally and put in there and all kind of craziness with it. But Anthony Richards sent out Allen and Ginter. Just because I'm in that area, I know it'll sell very well. I don't see a whole lot of, what do they call himself, AR or something. He, his stuff doesn't uh, really pop up in a lot of these little smaller shows. So that'll definitely be a sale once I get it in. Up next, I picked this up. Uh, pretty much at half price. Jason Robertson, SPX, rookie jersey auto. Pretty cool card. We'll look and see if it's a gradable one or not. That's a long shot onto those. These I'm really proud of. I got, when you see both of these, I pretty much paid 50% for both of them. I threw the offer up because he was really low. And I took them because the pop counts on these are single digits. Like six, seven, eight, something around there. This one's really cool. The 94 Pro Vision Ozzy Smith PSA 10. The little wizard uh, logo with the... Uh, I used to call this the Wizard of Oz thing back here. But really, really cool to find that out there. And it'll be one of those things that'll sit until somebody, you know, is a big collector of it and understands, you know, how rare to find these PSA 10s are. Next one, wow, okay, you might like this, even though he's in a Kansas City uniform, Joe Montana ProVision PSA 10. Another one, single pop count. Uh, really happy to find that. Oh, those are the only four. I take it back. I only bought four cards this month. So those were all the profits and stuff that I had. You guys can see the prices there, what I paid and stuff across it. So pretty good overall. Um, like I said, one, two of these will be looked at to be great. And two of these, they're just really rare. All right. As you guys can see, box-wise, we got a huge stack. One just went off today. That just shows the amount of cards left. These are very inaccurate up here. I think whenever they partnered up and eBay did whatever they did with them, their trackings are much better and accurate from what they're posting. So I'd say somewhere from about here or here down is accurate with what's left still to go out. So probably a good thousand cards still got to be listed onto it. Again, sitting at 1,630 cards on there. Uh, you, uh, to me, the only way you could do this is buying bulk or going through people's value boxes and finding this stuff, to be honest. Very, very time consuming. All right, let's go to seller stats by month. So as you guys can see, oh, I was going to say $11. What? That's already for April. March, $602.74. Had 220 items sold. Some of the stuff was some of the lower end upper deck EPAC stuff that moved over. But you're looking roughly like $2. Was it about 50 cents a card? Somewhere in that ballpark. That sold on to it. So not bad overall. Taking the profits. Buying some better stuff to use for shows later on. Um, pretty much what I've been doing. Um, there's no. I guess you could say method to my madness at all. On to it. It's just. You know you go out buy collections. Or people say hey I got these all these relics for sale. Give them to you for X amount. I look through. Say alright it's either good or not. Can I make any money off it. Because I got to still pay 50 cents a card to be posted on here. And I know. I know. A lot of people were upset with DC Sports raising their prices. And everybody's been hitting me up onto it. 
Now they're charging you 99 cents to list it. If that card doesn't sell, you're still paying them 99 cents. If it does sell for only 99 cents, you're not even making that four cents. I mean, I think you got to make over a dollar twenty-five to start seeing profit onto it. So if there's only one or two bids in the card, you're pretty much owing the money. So now I'm getting a lot of that stuff there, and because a lot of people don't want to take the risk onto the the relic cards and stuff. So yeah, you guys will see a lot more of that stuff coming up on the old Com C two. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing uh, last. Ooh. I'd say all of February through all of March, and it's starting to really show it's taken a while. It really has to get to the point to where, you know, hey, you know, I'm doing... There was a day I sold over $100 in cards on here, which is good for me. I'm not saying it's like, you know, something crazy, but I think I had like 80 of them push in one day that I had to list, and this was between 9 p.m. and like 2 a.m.-ish time frame. And people were just buy, 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 buy. And it was good. You know, sold over $100 that night alone. And that was towards the middle of March. I mean, the first two weeks plus was looking rough. I was like, man. Then all of a sudden stuff started popping. And I was like, okay, we're doing good. Now we're doing better. And I like to, like I said, to use the profits, buy cards. Have them sent to me in a big shipment. That way when I pay the $45 express, it makes sense. You know, it's 10 to 20 cards um gets out to me use them as show cards and you know make my money that way instead of doing the cash out through paypal and paying them another 10 percent because that's just not worth it to me but yeah pretty cool stuff figured i'd share this stuff with you guys i know some of you guys are following this it, it's improving we'll see what april does may june so forth i know they will be set up at the midwest monster so i think um I'll probably try to bring a box or two up there for them of items. That way they could take it back with them. And I don't have to pay the, you know, $8.74 to ship it out to them. But, yep, that is Com C for the month, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm um, having fun with doing this. It's a good way, I think, for myself just to push all this other stuff that I've got here that, you know, instead of trying to make boxes or a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, stuff like that, put them have Com C doing it. I don't do all the shipping, buy more bubble envelopes, more tape, you know, all the hassle onto it. So it's been pretty good so far. No complaints. No complaints right now, except for the earlier packages I gotta get with. They have me saying, Oh, yo, we owe you four more cards and there's still a hundred missing out there. It's probably on somebody else's account. But we'll see what how that goes. Um, I'm going to give them till end of April because they gave me a new due date on to it and see what happens with it. All right, guys, that is it. I am out. I will catch you guys next video. Take care.